Okay, students, now let's look at exercise 7.1 of page number 161. In the test question, find the distance between the following pair of points. First question they have given two points that is 2,3 and 4,1. For our convenience, we can name it as let the points be A and B. The question is find the distance between the two points A and B. Okay, so for that we have the distance formula AB equal to root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Isn't it? Substituting the values here that is equal to root of x2 that is 4 minus x1 that is 2 whole square plus y2 minus y1. When we take x2 from this coordinate, we have to take y1 from the same. Okay, that is 1 minus y1 that is what? 3 whole square. Okay, students, when you are taking the x and y coordinates from this, you should be careful. x2, y2. Here this is x1, y1. Okay, so x2 minus x1, it will be what? x2 minus x1. So here y2 minus y1, you should not take 3 minus 1. It should be 1 minus 3. y2 here it is 1 minus y1, it is 3. Hope you are able to understand. Okay, y2 minus y1, it should be 1 minus 3 whole square. So that is equal to what? Solving this 4 minus 2. Okay, 4 minus 2, that is what? 2. Okay, 2 square plus 1 minus 3, that is what? Minus 2 square. Okay, students. So that is equal to root of 2 square, that is what? 4 plus minus 2 square, that is what? Minus 2 into minus 2, that is again positive 4, isn't it? That is equal to what? Square root of 4 plus 4, that is 8, equal to, we can write it as what? 2 root 2. Okay, students, how? Okay, taking prime factorization of 8, we can write 8 as what? 2 into 4, 8, 2 into 2, 4, 2 into 1, 2. Okay, so that is common 2 times 2, we can take outside the bracket, so that is what? 2 root 2. Hope it is clear. Okay. So now, second question of this, that is what, find the distance between the points, minus 5, comma 7 and minus 1, comma 3, here two points are given, minus 5, comma 7 and minus 1, comma 3, we can name it as P and Q, let the given two points be P and Q. So, to find the distance, we have the distance formula that is PQ equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Isn't it? Substituting the values here, x2 that is minus square root of x2 that is minus 1 minus x1 that is what? Minus 5. So, minus minus will become plus 5. Isn't it students? Whole square plus y2 that is what y2 here it is 3 minus y1 it is 7 whole square ok students so that is equal to square root of minus 1 plus 5 minus 1 plus 5 that is positive 4 square isn't it plus 3 minus 7 3 minus 7 it is what minus 4 square ok students so that is equal to what square of 4 it is 16 plus square of minus 4, minus 4 into minus 4, that is positive 16. So, here 16 plus 16, we will get it is 32, that is square root of 32, okay. So, that we can write it as what? 4 root 2. How? Taking prime factorization here, 2 into 16 is 12, 2 into 8 is 16, 2 into 4 is 8, 2 into 2 4 and 2 into 1, taking 2 into 2, 2 twos outside, 2 into 2, that is 4, we, we will be able to take outside, so that is 4 root 2, okay, hope it is clear. Now, we have one more question, the same, third question here, it is what,
in this third question we have a comma b two points are given a comma b and minus a comma minus b okay two points are given a comma b and minus a and minus b and the question is find the distance between these two points we can name it as let a be the one of the point and the other point is b now we have to find the distance between these two points that is a b applying distance formula here we have root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square okay so that is equal to what square root of x2 okay x1 comma y1 this is x2 comma y2 is the distance so x2 minus x1 x2 here it is minus a1 minus x1 sorry minus a x2 it is minus a and minus x1 it is what here it is positive a so that is minus a minus a whole square plus y2 minus y1 y2 is what that is minus b minus y1 it is b okay minus b minus b whole square okay students so that is equal to minus a minus a minus a minus a it is what minus 2 times a isn't it whole square plus minus b minus b that is minus 2 times b isn't it whole square that is equal to square root of minus 2 in, into minus 2 minus 2 square is what positive 4 isn't it students a square okay minus 2 square that is positive 4 plus again minus 2 square that is positive 4 b square okay it is clear now that is equal to what square root of we have two terms in this inside the square root isn't it where 4 is common so we can take that 4 slowly outside the bracket of a square plus b square hope it is clear okay so this 4 this is common here i took outside the bracket okay so that is 4 into a square plus b square now when we look at this 4 square root of 4 that is what that is 2 isn't it square root of 4 is 2 so we can take that 2 outside okay so this 4 i took outside that is 2 into square root of a square plus b square this is a final distance between the two points p and sorry between the two points a and b hope it is clear okay now students look at question number two find the distance between the points 0 comma 0 and 36 comma 15 the similar kind of a question we have solved in the previous class just check the previous class there we have already found the distance between a point from origin okay so that question you can try yourself students okay thank you